Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another G1 Transformers review. As you can see I'm doing another MicroMaster base. Um, the only real difference with this sort of base with some of the others is the fact that the base itself is literally just a base and the name of the actual figures isn't actually included on the box so it's just classed as a combiner base and aircraft base. Um, as you can see from the box, it's basically a anti-aircraft sort of tank and obviously a base mode. Um, nice G1 artwork as ever on these boxes. But this is obviously 1990s, so it's the later design boxes, so no clear windows. It's just a uh, photograph of the toy inside. Uh, you get the photographs on top and on the end. And then at the back you get a cartoon battle scene which really just shows himself and a couple of the other uh, MicroMasters. It doesn't really show much in the way of the Autobots they're supposed to be fighting. And um, it's a little bright up there I'll bring in. Okay. And I'll bring in text specs so you can read about him. It does say in the text specs that it's actually underwater capable, which I find, you know, an amphibious tank fair enough, but underwater sort of actually means going under. So it's seems a little weird. Um, obviously the later type tech specs as well didn't have a red decoder so it's just the blocks to see the power and strength and things like that. Um, but yeah, that's basically just a quick look at the box. Now getting to the figure itself, well I'll start with the, the actual MicroMaster figure. Um, it is a combiner figure as it says on the box so you get a larger MicroMaster in his uh, B1 jet mode. Um, pretty good jet mode, a little bit kibbly, but I mean, this is after all MicroMaster, so it's pretty good for that. Um, this is also the only set where this figure was in, so you won't see this from any other um, sort of recolor or anything like that. Um, it is only literally sort of like unique to this um, base mode. Um, he has got a couple of stickers missing and that, but he's pretty well sort of in good condition really. Um, it's made up of two MicroMasters. You've got Blackout, which obviously they reused the name in the live action movies for the helicopter. But this is his first, as far as I know, incarnation. So Blackout's at the front and Space Shot is at the back. So to take them apart, you just pull them apart like that. They're just pegged together. To transform blackout, you flick the black part up and round. You turn the blue part round and over like so, and then you just fold his arms round, which are the grey bits of the undercarriage. Um, not the greatest of robot modes, obviously, because it does look like he's got one solid lump of a foot, almost a bit like he's wearing the long dress, but a little bit weird. But due to the transformation. You know, it might have been better if they'd have hinged that so you could turn that round. He would have at least looked like he had separate feet or something like that if this had been the front. But you're asking a lot from a 90s um, G1 toy. Um, good face detail on these MicroMasters. They picked it out well with colours. I do like them. You could have done with another sticker unless he originally did have one um, over the screw just to sort of hide that really. But not bad at all. I might even put the Decepticon logo over him. Um, so to Space Shot you do a similar transformation. You turn the blue part over like so and then you bring these wings back up and round and then I tend to fold them round to the back like so and that literally is his transformation because his arms are pretty much in the right position then. And again, they picked out his face in a nice little green colour. Pretty good, you know, again for this scale. And again, he could really do with a sort of little Decepticon sticker over that screw on his chest. But other than that, quite a tidy little figure. Um, again, solid sort of legs. Shame they didn't use them as the feet, but again, you know, asking a great deal of a figure what's smaller say than a cyberverse figure I quite a bit um, but yeah pretty nice little tidy sort of little uh, 
MicroMaster figures. Um, the actual main base I'll bring in now, because I've already got it out of the box, is a quite a nice tank mode. Um, I do have a bit of a soft spot for this. Um, I just like the look. The colours, again, are very sort of G1 Decepticon with the purple guns. And it's a nice contrast with the green and the sort of like mustard colour, sort of yellow of the tank. Um, as you can see, it comes with a few accessories. You've got two detachable cannons, but they usually stay on the actual turret. You've got a radar dish, again, you can remove it, but there's not a lot of point to that. Um, you've got a removable, they class it as a bazooka, but it is more like a machine gun, really, if it was on the turret of a tank. And you get a triple sort of rocket launcher on the back there. And a little scout vehicle in the front. Now the only loose part, and I usually have it inside, but just for the review I've already got it now, is a green ramp, and as far as I know this is the only base which had a green ramp as well, so that's quite hard to pick up if you're trying to get one loose. Um, again it's got a peg thing there, so I don't know if there's somewhere it's supposed to store, I've not necessarily been able to find that, but there you go anyway. Um, to transform the base itself, you take the turret off, which makes things a lot simpler to start with. I'll just put that out of the way. You take the rocket launcher off as well. And you want to just lift up slightly to unpeg this top panel, like so. And that just gives it a little bit, because it pegs onto a little peg there, it means that it will move a little bit easier, if not for this part around, which it's also very prone to do. I'll like to tight release that, that's it. Take that back on. Um, it just hinges from the back and around. Um, these sides they literally just peg on to the main vehicle, so that's why they tend to come loose. The rear section you need to flip over on a hinge as well, and that forms like a platform. And then when you swung this side out, underneath there should be a purple pair of legs, and they fold down to support the helipad sort of section there. Now I'll put that down so you can see it a little bit better. Um, obviously you get a little nice little freewheeling scout vehicle, which the MicroMasters can sit in. You then can take the like, machine gun stroke bazooka off of the turret and that will actually fit in onto that vehicle as well. So that's armed as well. Nice little touch, you know, sort of like you know, to do that. And quite a nice little vehicle in itself, you know, a bit reminiscent of things like Overlord's little reconnaissance vehicle. Um, for the main turret, you actually you don't put it back on there because that's now a helipad, and you put it onto the hole what's over there to form a, a, an attack turret basically. And you put the rocket launcher into the hole over here. Um, you can put this ramp on in two places. It can, well, free actually, it can fit on the back in there, it can fit on the front in here, and the main one they show on the box art and that is to fit it on here. And obviously, because it's a double ended ramp, it can connect to other MicroMaster bases to make a bigger set, you know, to make a great big, almost like a cityscape of the MicroMaster sort of battle zones. Um, the actual scout vehicle doesn't. It's too big to actually go down any of these and that, so it is more styled that this is for the actual MicroMasters to use. Um, and again, you can, there is a peg in the top of the turret, so you can peg a MicroMaster on. It doesn't work too well with these figures because they don't have the actual holes or anywhere to actually sort of make it peg. I suppose you could turn him up the other way and try and get it into that, but I think the other peg gets in the way. Um, but again, a, quite a nice little base mode. Um, sticker details here and there, they're a bit worn on this particular one, but you got to expect that. I don't think they do a Repro Labels set for this, these bases yet, which would be a good one to do if anyone from Repro Labels is out there. Um, especially Countdown, I could do with some new stickers for that. Um, but yeah. A pretty nice little sort of base mode, well worth picking up. You can pick it up quite reasonably. Um, 
some of the other bases for the MicroMasters, like the mobile bases, do go for quite ridiculous sums of money if they're boxed. Um, but a lot of the smaller ones are available for a reasonable amount. Um, and that's about it, really. I mean, he's modelled on a German Leopard tank, not the anti-aircraft tank. Um, but as I said before, I can't really see quite where they get the underwater capability sort of side of things. Again, that's just fleshing out probably the characterisation of it all. But there you go. Um, hope you've enjoyed the review and a look at another vintage transformer. Um, please feel free to comment and subscribe. And uh, I shall see you again for another review. Thanks for watching.